Something that really leveled up my video creation was making cool motion graphics and having the text kind of move independently. I'm going to be showing you how you can do this effect in CapCut. And the cool thing is it's actually really, really simple. You don't need any plugins. You, it's built right into the app. Let's dive right in, guys. So you can see I've just added a brown paper bag background. This is an effect you'll see all over social media. All I'm going to do is go to my text and let's create a default text layer. I'm going to make this color black so you can see it better. Let's drag that playhead down and make it bold. And over here we can say motion graphic. Once you're happy with the styling of your text, all you're gonna do is create a compound clip. In effect, select the nightclub option. All you're gonna do is apply the effect play pendulum, okay? Once that effect is applied, I'm gonna go to edit and decrease twist. You can see twist kind of makes our text uh, look kind of funny and then decrease sharpen as well. If I just go ahead and play that, that already looks great. But what if we wanna have multiple elements moving at different times and at different speeds? Very, very easy to do. Once I'm happy with my next text layer, I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's create a compound clip, go back to my effect, go to nightclub, drag play pendulum onto my effect and exactly the same process guys, decrease twist, decrease sharpen. Now I'm gonna change my speed to 60. The other one was at 40 and I'm gonna decrease the strength as well to let's, let's put it at 14. Now if I play this, you can see that the elements are moving independently of each other, which is quite cool. Now what's great as well is on a compound clip, we have access to all the video animations. So if I wanna slide this down and let's go to this one and I wanna slide this right, now all of a sudden we have a cool kind of in from the right, down from the top effect. And here's another secret. You can even apply motion blur to those animations to have a cool smooth effect when they animate in. That's exactly how you do it. It is that simple. Add your play pendulum effect and you'll get that cool kind of free floating animation. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. It's always a pleasure having you here. Bye-bye.